It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers, and it comes your way next. Historic Lambeau Field, fittingly it runs up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gunn on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. to throw right away. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw now, here's Love. That is incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it turned up to the task and forced the incompletion. the 42 as they come up second and 10. Love looking to throw it. Incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
picked off by Jaquan Brisker, and the Bears are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So we see it right here on the opening drive, throwing the football in these snowing conditions. It's going to be very, very tough. You wonder if they're going to rethink the aerial attack going forward. It will be interesting, and it'll be a debate because most of the quarterbacks that we know, they believe they can throw through anything. They don't care if it's rain, snow, it doesn't matter. As long as they get a chance to throw the football, and I think a lot of coaches think that in these conditions, let's throw it early before things get worse. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. At about the 32. Now Fields. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I think it's safe to say that that was not his primary target when the ball was snapped. And then he led him too close to the sideline and you end up with a loss on the play. Yeah, great toe tap, but you lose yardage, so you wish he didn't even have the toe tap. Wish he would have been out of bounds. Yeah, catch it. Just make sure you're out of bounds, right? Just don't get it all down as he did there. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Fields to commit there for a Chicago first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now a first down throw, Fields. Now he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. And the Packers are going to take possession here at their own 37-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away? and take control of this game. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried to barrel him through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Love. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And that's how you shake off the interception they threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 26-yard line. Now a first down carry by Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. Love from the gun. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Reed High runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. They go back to the ground with Jones. Officially, it's no doubt in the play. Another few inches shot out from Smith and Lumen. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Throwing, Love, he rifles one that's intercepted. It's a foot race, the 40, past the 20, and they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Well, what a response by that defensive unit, Charles, because they just saw their offense throw the interception. They come out there, not only get an interception of their own, but they take it back for the touchdown. I won't sing it because no one wants to hear that, but perhaps an early case of anything you can do, I can do better between these defenses. A lot of people came not expect the offense to light this game up, but so far, the defenses are stealing the show. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Or these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Nixon elects not to return it. And this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Okay, Love and the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Love back to it here after the pick six. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. T.J. Edwards coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. 
And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Love, quick slant to Watson. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. All the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Love now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They definitely got to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Bears take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And just one tick to go, so this will obviously be the final play of this first quarter. They'll run. This is Khalil Herbert, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Fields. Steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, Oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Five yards that time on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 39, Love. On the out route, Dobbs brings it in. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football one-on-one there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the 
center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. The Packers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Again, it's Love. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to throw again. And Watson has it right side. He'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Going back to Love. A complete once again to Watson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a rear of a board going. And right now, it's paying off a big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. zone now they'll look to throw throw right side hauled in by Dobbs and the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight yard line back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. To the air again, Love. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jordan Love. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a nine-play drive, and the camper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards.
even at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it. Punt's on the better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. On first and ten, here's Fields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. But well, you do need to know as a young quarterback that if you're going to spread the field, the ball's got to come out quick. And you have to know where to go with the football, really, in pre-snap. Identify where you want to go and get rid of it. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Fields. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. See the Packers defensively six DB, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. Going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Chicago. Jarnell Mooney, 72 yards. And the Bears will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. Santos now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here Santos to kick this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. 
And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Are the Bears going to take over now late in this first half? And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw, Fields. Buying time to his left. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Three yards remain for second down. Fields now to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Bears! Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney, and the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Now the point after try for Santos. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to they had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. To the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Trying to lay one up deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Fields on first down. He'll get that complete to Khalil Herbert. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Let's go. 
Throwing again on second down. Fields. Completion here to Claypool. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And now the kick short, but this is a live football picked up in the end zone. And fortunately here for them, he's going to be taken down before he can gather much momentum on the run back. So no fireworks on the final field goal attempt, and that'll do it for this first half. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Chicago. And even though they've got the big cushion, I would imagine they'd like to see a little more out of their passing game. Pretty pedestrian numbers through two quarters of play. Meanwhile, for the Packers, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Not too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. Pulls it in at the 13. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. They're throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Five yards, now it's third and five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold it for just a short game. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Out of the gun, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. First and ten, it's Herbert. They're able to avoid him at the 40. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 11 more on that one and another first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. 
But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll go again with Herbert. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Fields. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Here's a give to Herbert. They'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Fields. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Preston Smith coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. The passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Hadn't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. Surprised at all that they went with a fullback there? Not at all because it harkened back to the days where we watched these games almost in black and white, right? The stocky guy, the strong guy, the powerful guy with leg drive. Give him the football, and even if the blocking isn't perfect, he has the ability to scatter bodies and move people enough to pick up first downs. That's what we just saw right there. To throw his fields. Yeah, he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. 
Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah, a drive like man. that. So you really give yourself an advantage. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. After the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And finally, we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 30 on second down, Love. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit. Give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. To throw again on second down. Love. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Love looking to throw it. This one swung out here to Jones. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. 
And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. T.J. Edwards picks up his second sack of the afternoon. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Love. And now here is another inner. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? <laughs> You're the boss. We get the interception, then really, he's just too loose for the football on the return, and he coughs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in NFL game. I really did it in San Francisco. A few seasons ago, Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is salted away. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back. Drives down, kicks the game-winning field goal. <laughs> How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches... You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Quick slant, complete to Melton. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Love now. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. From four yards out. And the Packers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. handoff for Herbert and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two and what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts they've got all three still defensively to me you have to start right now here's the time and that means you've got to stop them on defense not give up the yardage use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself but now is the time to start using those timeouts and keep in mind it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning 
Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll go down at the 28. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Most of the damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Herbert once more. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll run. It's Herbert. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll run here with Herbert. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. You give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And never an easy thing to do, no matter how good Green Bay is, what the year is, to come into Lambeau and get the victory. But they did it. You're not just battling the team that you're playing that day. You're not just battling the crowd that's in attendance in that game. You're battling the history of the franchise. You're battling the ghosts that swirl around that place that help spur them on to victory. It is an unbelievable atmosphere the most historic place in the league, and you have to make sure you stay focused on your task.